Hello everyone, and welcome back. My name is Pandora, and welcome back to Dear Mona, Chapter 30, Glimpse of the Future. I couldn't stop thinking about what Miss Lee said. Was she serious? Was it just a crazy vision? What a day it has been. There was a lot to think about, but I had no idea of my biggest re revelation was yet to come. Are you really, you are really getting a lot of apologies lately. You said you accepted Miss Stanton's, but not Stacy's. I say the opposite. Miss Stanton is a grown woman. There's no excuse for her behavior. It's funny how you two never seem to agree on any, on something. I often feel like I have an angel and a devil duo on my shoulders. Who's the angel? Max, Pandora, I'm sorry if we're upsetting you. No, no, this is perfect. You really ha helped me make the best decisions, seeing things from all the from all the different angles. You're both wonderful friends. I wouldn't have made it through these months without you. We love you too, Pandora. And we're going to make the best godparents to your baby. I know you will, and as for those apologies, I'm going to accept both. Besides, I don't know who the father is. I don't want to stay on either of their bad sides. I want my baby to have a big family. Well, you're the pregnant one. You get to make all the decisions. Not for much longer. I can't believe you're eight months in. I know. The labor will be here before I know it. It might be the best if I asked their advice regarding Miss Lee. Speaking of... Something weird happened today with Miss Lee. Doesn't something weird always happen with Miss Lee? Well, we were in the hallway when she had a vision. She got really pale. And she made me promise I wouldn't put myself at risk. I'm worried about the baby. She was probably just being motherly. Yeah, I don't think I believe in her visions. I don't know either. That stuff is pretty hard for me to believe. But I'm trying to keep an open mind. Pandora, you'll be fine. You made it this far, haven't you? Yeah. And after all, you're pregnant in high school. I think you've gotten enough risk for the year. Well, in that case, let's get more food. You've got four months to feed here. Four, you've got four mouths, we've got four mouths to feed here. What a day. Wait a second. Oh no, my car has a flat tire. What am I going to do? I have to get to work. Blair and Max are at practice, and Mom is at work. Ugh, just my luck. Mm. Hi, Mark. Can you pick me up at school? I have a flat tire. Definitely. On my way. Thank you so much. I have no idea what how that happened. No problem. I'll put that the donut on right away. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Your mom was here today. I know. She told me. Wait. Don't tell me you think she cut your tires. Of course not. She better have apologized. Or she did. And I'm going to accept it. That's a relief. It makes, makes things a lot easier. I hope so. Work is almost over. There's no sign of Miss Lee. I really wanted to make sure she was okay. Miss Lee! I was just thinking about you. Sorry I'm late. It's been a weird day. Are you feeling okay? I've been worried about you ever since this afternoon. I'm okay. 
I was able to rest up at the nurse's office. Do you remember the vision you had? Down. Down. What? Down. Sorry, my cat was climbing on something he wasn't supposed to. Oh no. Sometimes they come in and they go out and they go out. I'll try to write things down so I remember. I've written down a few things about you. And a lot of interesting facts about your baby too. I'm sorry nothing about today. Oh. I was hoping you could tell me more. I'm sorry, dear. My mind is just like mush today. I think I'm gonna turn in early. Okay. I can close up everything here. You're a doll. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait. What is in that box over there? It's a folder with my name on it. That must be where she writes things down. I bet she's written down so many visions in there. She probably get a better idea. I'll probably get a better idea on who the father is. And I'll learn more about my baby. Ugh, the curiosity is killing me. Should I take a peek? No. It's still hard to resist this. Maybe it's just a small peek on the in outside. It says, follow the road signs to the father. So cryptic, but... Oh, could it be a hint as who the father is? <coughs> well, I'm glad she apologized to you. But I doubt she and I will ever speak again. Even if the baby is Mark's. Well, one day at a time, right? It's just so sad. We had such good memories together. All the barbecues in their backyard... That time when you found, a, we found a bird's nest in the attic. Oh man, I remember the time you and Mark ran away, and we found out you on the side of the road. Too funny. How time flies. Don't you dare. You must be a small bundle of mischief running around. Now you're with two boys who ride bikes and fall in love with your eyes and having a baby of your own. I'm too tired to get sentimental now. Can we do this tomorrow? Of course. Sleep tight, sweeties. Um, it's been such a long day. I expect to fall asleep as soon as I see my bed. And now I can't. Something is bothering me. It has something my mother said, but I can't put my finger on what it is. Wait, wasn't Miss Lee's hint about? Uh-oh, that must be it. Oh my God, I know who the father is. She does, does she? Gender reveal. Your mom throws a gender reveal party. Who gets to come and celebrate with you? That is chapter 31. We are windling down. Four more. And we will be done. But I'm hoping y'all are enjoying this video. Because I am. We are almost done babies. Almost. But. I will see y'all in the next video. If you like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon because I'll be like twice a day. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.